So before we get started on the painting today, I figured for you dog lovers out there and puppy lovers out there, I'd give you a quick little clip. All right, they were just loving each other and I had to share that love. So let's get into the painting today. Uh, this in front of me is a 24 by 24 gallery wrap canvas, about one of my favorite sizes. This and the 24 by uh, 48s are my favorites. Um, I've got a whole plethora of colors over here, and they are different tones. Um, I mixed tone or I messed with tones, so that means some of the colors I added a little bit of white to brighten them up. Some of the colors I added a little bit of black just to darken them down. Really just the blue I added a little bit of black to. But let's run through the colors real quick. I've got Deco Art Lavender, Deco Art Carousel Pink, definitely use two tones of that one. Um, True Blue Deco Art, Deco Art Cadmium Yellow, I definitely lightened that up to get me more of a lemon yellow. Um, over here I did paint the background, um, the Folk Art Patina, one of my favorite colors. And this one was very close to it, they're both my favorites. But um, Ocean Green Master's Touch right here. I've got a little bit of Artist Loft Violet, some Artist Loft Brilliant Blue, and just some white, um, Artist Loft White. So before I get started here, um, I am going to use, hold on, I am going to use my hair dryer and my airbrush um, to push and move the paint around because I love it. And I am going to use some alcohol. Now, a lot of you guys are wondering what the alcohol does. It's really hard to see on the camera and get close enough with the lenses that I have. Hopefully someday I'll get another lens and I can get you in closer with more detail. But what it does is it separates the top layer of paint. So in areas that I'll have thin paint when I drop the uh, alcohol, it may separate all the way down to this canvas. So I want some color behind it. That's why I laid down the background color. Okay. So before we get started, let's talk about criticism. Okay, I get it on my channel every once in a while. Constructive criticism, I'm all about, love that. Um, but sometimes you can tell someone's not in the greatest place in their life and they're just putting out pure anger criticism. Now, this really tied into, the reason why I'm talking about this is because it really tied into a lot of the comments that I get from some of my great subscribers out there. Comments like, oh, you've inspired me just to go for it, or I'm nervous to try this, or uh, okay, maybe I will. And uh, people seem to be nervous to take a chance and take a risk. And I understand it from, to a certain extent, I do understand it, but I wanna encourage everybody to take that risk. People are gonna criticize, you may fail, which I hate that word. Um, you may not get what you intended on getting. A lot of people ask me, Misha, do you even make mistakes anymore? I do make mistakes. I just work them into parts of my paintings, right? And they're not really mistakes. They're learning opportunities. I have played with so many different uh, mediums and just different techniques and things that you can do. And if you're learning something, then there is no mistake. I just don't see that those equate to each other. You are learning something. Um, it may not have gone as you had wanted it to or had anticipated, but you definitely learned something in doing that. So let's look at them as not mistakes, but learning opportunities. And for all of you that are a little nervous to try, get a small canvas. Um, use just some older paints. You can use house paints, whatever. I know that the only risk that you have in this is wasting some materials. So let all the rest go. Let criticism go or that you're trying to get a specific and perfect um, outcome that you have in your head. Let that all go. Learn a lot, play a lot, and have fun with it. Because if you can't have fun with art, then what can you have fun with? I don't know. But I encourage you all to just try it out and have some fun. All right, time to get into this painting.
Okay, so, so funny that I said something about mistakes because boy, I struggled with this painting. Um, the hair dryer is awesome. I used it a lot more than I thought I was going to, um, but the hair dryer really blends a lot more and the airbrush, you can move the paint around but it doesn't blend it so much sometimes. So I had too much blending in these areas. I really wanted this strong blue. You saw me come back in with um, a different one. I had used this, this. So originally when I made the darker blue, I used um, the brilliant blue and some black. And then I went back and I used the true blue with some black. There must be some white in here because it got real muddy um, when I added the black to it. So I poured that on and went, oh no, I don't like that. Um, so I went and remixed some more dark blue, um, and this is really crazy, messy, but it was fun. Um, I've added a lot of alcohol onto the top, and I'm going to let this set for about an hour, and then bring you guys back in, bring you in to see, uh, because I think there's going to be some changing going on. There's definitely fractals. Some of the Alcohol definitely gives you some fractals. Uh, they're like look like little veins or little rivers, little mini rivers running through. But it's gonna bring up some of those bottom layers. You saw that I had a lot of layers of paint on here. Tons of paint on this. It's gonna take a while to dry. So let's give it an hour and I will bring you guys back in. Okay, so this is an hour later. I think this is pretty settled. Um, let's bring it in for a closer look. Okay, so if you're wondering what alcohol does, let's get a, let's see if I can get in real close. Uh, oh, dogs are going crazy. This is, th these are the little fractals I was telling you about. Look like little veins or, I'm not, I don't love those so much. Ignore the dogs, they're playing. Um, but it definitely does these little circles too. Um, and it separates those paint layers. So it just adds some interest into the painting. Um, especially in this blue section, I really wanted to blend out a little bit more. You can see, let's see, a bunch of that fractaling in here. This is catching a good glare, which is actually helpful. And these little circles, these are all from the alcohol. So, all right. Not exactly as I had anticipated this painting going, but I really like the end results. So, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And if you got something to say about it, go ahead and comment below. Tell me whether you like it, you hate it, whatever. Um, and then if you haven't hit that subscribe button, hit that button because there's a lot more coming. Alright guys, until next time, take care.